Borneo. The name itself evokes images of dense rainforests, exotic wildlife and ancient traditions. It's a place where time seems to move differently, where the rhythms of nature still dictate the pace of life. This third largest island in the world, shared by Indonesia, Malaysia and Brunei, holds a certain mystique, a sense of adventure that beckons travellers from far and wide. For centuries, Borneo has captivated explorers, anthropologists and naturalists alike. Its impenetrable jungles have yielded countless new species, its rivers teem with life, and its indigenous communities offer a glimpse into a way of life untouched by modernity. Yet, for all its allure, Borneo remains largely off the beaten path, a destination for the intrepid traveller seeking a genuine taste of the unknown. Within this enigmatic island lies Kalimantan, the Indonesian portion of Borneo, encompassing roughly two-thirds of its landmass. Kalimantan is a world unto itself, a tapestry woven from diverse cultures, breathtaking landscapes and bustling cities, from the vibrant markets of Pontianak, straddling the equator, to the ancient forests of the interior, home to orangutans and clouded leopards, Kalimantan offers a sensory overload. The island's rich history is etched into its ancient temples, colonial architecture and the traditions of its indigenous Dayak people. This journey will take us deep into the heart of Kalimantan, exploring its key cities, each with its own unique character and allure. We'll delve into the cultural melting pots of Pontianak and Banjarmasin, experience the tranquility of Palankaraya, and uncover the hidden gems of smaller towns like Singkawang and Ketapan. Along the way, we'll encounter the warmth of the Indonesian people, savour the exotic flavours of Kalimantan cuisine, and witness the raw beauty of a land where nature still reigns supreme. Prepare to be surprised, to be challenged, and above all, to be utterly captivated by the magic of Kalimantan. Our journey begins in Pontianak, the bustling capital of West Kalimantan. Situated on the equator, Pontianak is a city of contrasts. No visit is complete without a stop at the equator monument, as the sun sets explore the bustling night markets. Enjoy local delicacies, from grilled seafood to exotic fruits. Visit the historic Kadaraya Mosque, a glimpse into the city's rich heritage. From the bustling metropolis of Pontianak, our journey takes us north to the coastal city of Singkawang. Known for its vibrant Chinese-Indonesian heritage, Singkawang is a city of colourful temples, delicious cuisine and a unique blend of traditions. Explore the bustling streets of Singkawang's Chinatown, where the air is thick with the aroma of incense and the sounds of traditional Chinese music. Visit the ancient temples adorned with intricate carvings and vibrant murals and sample the local delicacies, from savoury noodle dishes to sweet and sticky desserts. Singkawang is also renowned for its annual Capgo May Festival, a spectacular celebration that marks the end of the Chinese New Year. Thousands of visitors flock to the city to witness the colourful parades, elaborate costumes and breathtaking lion and dragon dances. Beyond its cultural attraction, Singkawang boasts stunning natural beauty. Take a leisurely stroll along the pristine beaches, go for a swim in the crystal clear waters or simply relax and soak up the sun. Leaving the coast behind, our journey takes us inland to the heart of West Kalimantan. Here, amidst rolling hills and dense rainforests, lie the towns of Sangao and Ketapang, offering a glimpse into a more traditional way of life. Sangao, situated on the banks of the Kapuas River, is a major agricultural centre known for its fertile land and abundant produce. Visit the local markets to experience the sights, sounds and smells of rural Kalimantan, where farmers bring their freshest fruits, vegetables and spices to trade. Further south, nestled on the coast, lies Ketapang, a bustling port town and a gateway to the stunning natural beauty of West Kalimantan's southern region. From here, you can embark on boat trips up the nearby rivers, exploring pristine rainforests, encountering exotic wildlife and visiting remote Dayak villages. <laughs> 
For those seeking adventure and a true escape into the wild, the regions of Malawi and Kapuas Hulu offer unparalleled opportunities to connect with nature. Here, dense rainforests stretch as far as the eye can see, home to an astonishing array of biodiversity. Melawi, with its rugged terrain and remote villages, is a haven for trekkers and nature enthusiasts. Hike through lush rainforest, camp under the stars, and encounter rare and endangered species such as orangutans, clouded leopards, and proboscis monkeys. Kapuas Hulu, in the northern reaches of West Kalimantan, is home to Danau Sentarum National Park, a vast wetland area teeming with life. Take a boat trip through the flooded forests, witness the incredible bird life and learn about the traditional fishing techniques of the local communities. Our journey through West Kalimantan concludes in Landak, a region steeped in Dayak history and tradition. Here, amidst rolling hills and fertile valleys, the ancient culture of the Dayak people thrives. Visit traditional Dayak longhouses where multiple families live together under one roof and learn about their unique customs, beliefs and way of life. Witness the intricate tattoos that adorn the bodies of Dayak elders, each telling a story of their lineage and achievements. Experience the thrill of Dayak dances, a vibrant display of music, costumes and storytelling and sample the local cuisine, known for its use of fresh herbs, spices and wild game. Landak offers a rare glimpse into a culture that has survived for centuries, a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the Dayak people. Our journey through Kalimantan takes us to central Kalimantan, a land of immense natural beauty and rich cultural heritage. We begin in Palanka Raya, the provincial capital, located at the confluence of the Kahayan and Rungan rivers. Unlike many other cities, Palanka Raya is spacious and green with wide avenues and a sense of tranquility. One highlight is the Balanga Museum, home to Dayak artifacts and traditional costumes. For a taste of local life, visit the bustling market at Pasar Bisar, where you can find fresh produce, spices and handicrafts. Our journey continues eastward to Kotawaringin Timur, or East Kotawaringin, and Kotawaringin Barat, or West Kotawaringin, two regencies that offer a glimpse into the traditional Dayak way of life and the captivating legends that surround them. Kotawaringin Timur is known for its vast oil palm plantations and its proximity to Tanjong Puting National Park, a renowned orangutan sanctuary. Embark on a river safari through the park's waterways, Observe these intelligent creatures in their natural habitat and witness the incredible biodiversity of this pristine rainforest. In Kotawaringin Barat, venture into the heart of Dayak territory and visit the ancient village of Pangkalan Bun. Here, you can learn about the legend of Chilik Riwut, a revered Dayak hero who is said to have descended from the heavens. Explore the traditional longhouses, witness the intricate carvings that adorn their walls and listen to the stories passed down through generations. Venturing southward, we encounter the regencies of Katingan and Seruyan, two regions blessed with an abundance of natural wonders, from pristine rainforests and winding rivers to tranquil lakes and cascading waterfalls. Katingan is a haven for nature lovers and adventurers alike. Explore the Katingan Mentaya project, a conservation area dedicated to protecting orangutans and their habitat. Embark on a trek through the rainforest, camp under the starlit sky, and listen to the sounds of the jungle come alive at night. Seruyan offers a similar escape into nature's embrace. Visit Lake Sembula, a serene oasis home to a variety of bird life, including the endangered storm stork. Take a boat trip across the lake, cast a line for local fish, or simply relax and soak up the tranquility of your surroundings. Our journey takes us deeper into the interior of central Kalimantan. As we explore the regencies of Barito Utara, or North Barito, and Barito Selatan, or South Barito, two regions where the pulse of Dayak culture beats strong. Barito Utara is known for its traditional Dayak villages and its vibrant arts and crafts scene. Visit the village of Muaratewa, the Regency's capital, and explore its bustling market. 
where you can find everything from hand-woven textiles and intricate beadwork to traditional Dayak weapons and musical instruments. Barito Selatan is home to the majestic Mount Liang Pran, a sacred mountain revered by the Dayak people. Embark on a challenging trek to the summit, witness the breathtaking views from the top and learn about the legends and spiritual beliefs associated with this sacred peak. Our exploration of central Kalimantan culminates in Murung Raya, a regency located in the northernmost part of the province, bordering East Kalimantan. This remote region is a true frontier where dense rainforests meet rugged mountains and winding rivers carve their way through the landscape. Murung Raya is home to the indigenous Dayak Siang people, known for their strong cultural traditions and their deep connection to the natural world. Visit their villages, learn about their customs and beliefs, and witness their traditional dances and ceremonies. For the truly adventurous, Murung Raya offers unparalleled opportunities for trekking, rafting, and wildlife spotting. Explore the pristine rainforests, encounter exotic creatures, and experience the thrill of venturing into one of the last true wildernesses on Earth. Our journey through Kalimantan now takes us south to the province of South Kalimantan, a land of lush rainforests, winding rivers and vibrant cities. We begin our exploration in Banjarmasin, the provincial capital known as the floating metropolis for its network of canals and waterways. Banjarmasin's lifeblood is the Matapura River, a tributary of the mighty Barito River. Life unfolds on the water with traditional wooden boats known as Klotok, transporting goods and people. The city's most iconic site is its floating markets, capturing the essence of Banjamasin's unique character. Every morning, hundreds of small boats laden with fresh produce converge on the canals, creating a bustling marketplace. Sample local delicacies like Soto Banjar and Nasi Kuning. As you navigate these watery lanes, the air is thick with the aromas of spices and the sounds of commerce, creating an unforgettable sensory experience. Just a short distance from Banjamasin lies Banjabaru, a planned city designated as the administrative center of South Kalimantan. While Banjamasin embodies the province's historical and cultural heart, Banjabaru represents its aspirations for progress and modernity. Banjabaru is a city of wide avenues, spacious parks and modern government buildings, a stark contrast to the bustling waterways and traditional architecture of Banjamasin. The city was designed with a focus on sustainability and livability with ample green spaces, well-maintained infrastructure and a commitment to preserving its natural surroundings. One of the highlights of Banjabaru is the Banjabaru Botanical Garden, a sprawling oasis of tranquility home to a diverse collection of plant species from across Indonesia and beyond. Take a leisurely stroll through the gardens, admire the colourful orchids, towering bamboo groves and serene lily ponds and escape the hustle and bustle of city life. Despite its modern amenities, Banjabaru retains a strong connection to its cultural roots. Visit the Museum of South Kalimantan Culture, which houses a fascinating collection of artifacts, traditional costumes and musical instruments, showcasing the rich heritage of the province's diverse ethnic groups. Our journey through South Kalimantan takes us to the coastal town of Kotabaru and the inland regency of Tapin. Each offers a unique glimpse into the diverse landscapes and lifestyles of this captivating province. Kotabaru is a haven for beach lovers and nature enthusiasts. Explore the pristine beaches of Pulau Laut, go snorkeling or diving in the coral reefs, or simply relax on the beach. Tapin offers a glimpse into the agricultural heartland of South Kalimantan. Visit the traditional villages, witness the age-old farming practices and experience the warmth and hospitality of the local people. Our exploration of South Kalimantan concludes in the Hulu Sungai region known for its strong Islamic traditions, ancient Dayak heritage and breathtaking natural beauty. 
Take a leisurely boat trip down the Amandit River, known for its crystal clear waters and towering limestone cliffs. Visit the historic town of Amuntai, with its traditional houses built on stilts and its Islamic boarding schools. Explore the ancient Dayak villages, witness their traditional dances and ceremonies, and learn about their unique customs and beliefs. The Mahakam River cuts through the heart of East Kalimantan and at its bend lies Samarinda, the provincial capital. Ships heavy with timber and coal dock at the bustling port, their cargo destined for markets across the globe. Beyond the industrial facade, Samarinda reveals a city adapting to its newfound wealth. Modern buildings sprout along the riverbank, showcasing architectural ambitions. Traditional wooden houses, some perched on stilts above the waterline, Speak of a time when life moved at the pace of the flowing current. A short boat ride from the city centre lies the Samarinda Islamic Centre, its gleaming golden dome reflecting the tropical sun. Inside, intricate calligraphy adorns the walls, whispering tales from the Quran. As evening descends, the aroma of grilled fish and spices wafts from riverside stalls. The Mahakam continues its timeless flow, carrying the city towards an uncertain yet promising future. On the eastern coast of Kalimantan, where the jungle meets the sea, sprawls Balikpapan, a city fueled by the rhythm of industry. Here, towering oil refineries dominate the skyline, their metal skeletons shimmering under the equatorial sun. Despite its industrial heart, Balikpapan possesses a surprising charm. Wide, tree-lined avenues, a legacy of Dutch colonial planning, cut through the city centre. Escape the urban hustle with a visit to Kimala Beach, a crescent of golden sand fringed by swaying palm trees. As the sun dips below the horizon, indulge in a plate of seafood satay from one of the beachside warrens. Balikpapan, a city of contrasts, embodies the duality of modern Indonesia. Here, the past and present converge, offering a glimpse into the complex tapestry of a nation, navigating the challenges of a rapidly changing world. The coastal city of Bontang, nestled on a peninsula jutting into the Makassar Strait, presents a study in contrasts. Here, vast factories producing fertilizer and liquefied natural gas share the landscape with pristine beaches and verdant mangrove forests. Bontang's industrial heart beats to the rhythm of progress, its factories a testament to Indonesia's economic ambitions. Yet the city remains acutely aware of the environmental cost of such rapid development. Efforts to preserve the delicate balance of nature are evident in the carefully preserved mangrove forests that fringe the coastline. Take a boat trip through these watery labyrinths, the air thick with the smell of damp earth and the calls of unseen birds. For a taste of local life, venture to the Bontang Kuala, a traditional fishing village built on stilts over the water. Sample the local delicacy, ikan patam bakar, grilled catfish marinated in spices and served with a fiery sambal. Journey inland from the coast and you'll encounter the Kutai Regency, a region steeped in history and blessed with abundant natural beauty. The town of Tengorong, the former capital of the Kutai Kartanagara Sultanate, stands as a testament to the region's royal past. The ornate Tengorong Palace, a majestic blend of European and traditional Dayak architecture, sits on the banks of the Mahakam River. Inside, explore the museum home to a fascinating collection of royal regalia, ancient weapons and artefacts. Beyond Tengorong's historical charm lies a world of natural wonders. Venture into the heart of Kutai National Park, a vast expanse of lowland rainforest teeming with life. Trek through the dense jungle, home to orangutans, sun bears and clouded leopards. Cool off with a swim in one of the park's many waterfalls, the water cascading over moss-covered rocks into crystal clear pools. Venturing further into the heart of East Kalimantan, one reaches the frontier's edge, where the wildness of Borneo remains largely untamed. Penajam Pasa Utara, bordering Balikpapan, serves as a gateway to this wild frontier. Journey westward to Kutai Barat, 
and you'll encounter a land where traditional Dayak culture thrives. Visit the ancient villages, some accessible only by river, and witness the traditional dances, ceremonies, and intricate handicrafts. Explore the limestone caves adorned with prehistoric paintings. In Kutai Timur, the landscape transforms into a tapestry of rolling hills, fertile valleys, and rushing rivers. This regency, known for its coal mining industry, also boasts incredible biodiversity. Trek through the rainforest, encounter exotic birds and primates, as you journey through these frontier regencies, you'll witness the challenges and opportunities that come with balancing economic development and environmental conservation. Our exploration of Kalimantan now takes us to the northernmost province, North Kalimantan, a land of rugged mountains, pristine rainforests, and a fascinating blend of indigenous cultures. Our journey begins in Tanjung Salor, a city on the cusp of transformation, designated as the capital of this young province. Situated at the confluence of the Kayan River and the Suhaide River, Tanjung Salor has long served as a vital trading post. The city's strategic location and its potential as a hub for trade and commerce have earned it the title of the emerging capital. As you stroll through Tanjung Selo, you'll witness a city in the throes of development, with new buildings and infrastructure rapidly taking shape. Despite the rapid pace of development, Tanjung Selo retains a charmingly laid-back atmosphere. From the emerging capital of Tanjung Selor, we embark on a short flight to Tarakan Island, a bustling hub of commerce and a place steeped in history. Situated off the northeast coast of Kalimantan, Tarakan has long played a pivotal role in the region's economic development. The island's rich oil reserves, discovered in the early 20th century, transformed it into a boom town. Today, while the oil industry remains a significant contributor to Tarakan's economy, the city has diversified, embracing trade, fishing and tourism. Explore the bustling harbour where cargo ships laden with goods from across the archipelago rub shoulders with traditional fishing boats. Visit the Tarakan Oil Museum, a fascinating glimpse into the island's industrial past. Our journey through North Kalimantan takes us further afield to the regencies of Bolungan and Nunukan, two regions where the wild beauty of Borneo remains largely untouched by human hands. Bolungan, with its vast stretches of primary rainforest, is a paradise for nature lovers and adventure seekers. Embark on a trek through the jungle, led by experienced local guides, and witness the incredible biodiversity of this pristine ecosystem. Encounter orangutans swinging through the canopy, gibbons calling through the trees and hornbills soaring overhead. For a truly immersive experience, spend a night in a traditional Dayak longhouse in one of Bulungan's remote villages. Share stories with the local people. Learn about their ancient customs and traditions. Nunukan, situated on an island bordering Malaysia, offers a different perspective on North Kalimantan's natural beauty. Our exploration of North Kalimantan culminates in Malinau Regency, a region located in the heart of Borneo, where the ancient traditions of the Dayak people continue to thrive. Malinau is a place where time seems to move at a different pace, where the rhythms of nature dictate the flow of life. Visit the traditional Dayak villages scattered throughout the Regency, each with its own unique customs and beliefs. Witness the intricate tattoos that adorn the bodies of Dayak elders, each marking a significant event in their lives. Experience the thrill of Dayak dances, a vibrant expression of their culture with intricate movements, colorful costumes, and the rhythmic beat of traditional instruments. Sample the local cuisine, a unique blend of flavors and ingredients from wild boar stews to fragrant rice dishes. As our journey through Kalimantan comes to an end, the flavors, sights, and sounds of this remarkable island linger. We've traversed bustling cities and tranquil villages, navigated winding rivers and dense rainforests, and encountered the warmth and hospitality of the Indonesian people. 
Each city, each town, each village has added a thread to the rich tapestry of our Kalimantan experience. We've tasted the tangy spice of sambal, felt the humid embrace of the rainforest and heard the call to prayer echoing through the jungle. Section 2. Kalimantan Beckons Kalimantan, the Indonesian heart of Borneo, is a land of contrasts and contradictions. It's a place where ancient traditions coexist with modern aspirations, where the relentless pace of development is tempered by the enduring rhythms of nature. It's a destination that challenges and rewards in equal measure, a place that stays with you long after you've left its shores. It's a reminder that the world is full of hidden gems waiting to be discovered by those willing to venture off the beaten path. So to the intrepid traveller seeking adventure, cultural immersion, or simply a chance to reconnect with nature, Kalimantan beckons. Come, explore its hidden corners, savour its unique flavours, and experience the magic of this remarkable